Hello and welcome to Code Tutorials. In this video, we're going to show you how to import Stockholm demo sites built using the WP Bakery page builder. So, Stockholm comes with many pre designed demos that you can import onto your own site and use them as a starting point. This will make your building process much quicker and a lot easier. You can browse the available demos by scrolling. Fair warning, there's over a hundred. Or you can use the search and categories on the left or the links here. I'm looking for the demo called Anders. There it is. So, in today's tutorial, I'll take you through importing this demo. The steps will be taking apply to all of Stockholm's WP Bakery demos. So, let's start by navigating to the dashboard and opening the link for the live site. This is the site that I'll be working on. As we can see, I do not have any content on my site. I only installed and activated the Stockholm theme. Before we proceed with the import, there are three things you should do. You should install and activate the Stockholm Core plugin, you should register your copy of Stockholm, and you should also check your server resources to make sure they meet the minimum requirements. If uncertain how to do any of that, I'll leave you some helpful links in the description below. These things are important for you to do because otherwise the demo import might not be successful. So, assuming you have everything set and ready to go, let's get started. There are two basic ways that you can import a demo site. You can import it through the one-click import method or you can also import it via the XML import. In the first section of this video, we'll take a look at the one-click demo import method. So, let's navigate to Stockholm Dashboard Import. So, in here you will see an overview of all the demos. Everything we saw on the theme's landing page we can see here as well. At the top, there are filters that you can use to filter the demos by category, or you can search the demos by keyword. I know the demo I'm looking for is Anders, and usually I'd search for it, but it's right here at the top, so I don't have to. I can just select it straight away. When you click on your demo, you will see a list of plugins that are required for that demo. For this demo, we can see that it requires the WP Bakery Visual Composer and the WooCommerce plugins. So, to start the installation process, we don't have to navigate elsewhere, we simply need to click on the installation link that's right here. When you click, wait for the plugin to install, you'll notice that the link text changes before moving on to the second one. And when both are installed, you can activate them using the same links. When a plugin is properly activated, you'll get this green text saying so. Under Import Type, you'll want to select All so that you get the complete demo site for Anders. And you'll want to make sure that Import Attachments is set to Yes. And then just click on the Import button. Ok, I'm sure I want to do this. And now give it a moment to process. The weight can vary depending on things like your internet speed, so just be patient until it's done and you see a message with Import is completed in place of the button. There, done. And now. Since all my required plugins are active and I imported the demo site, I can check how it looks. Let me hit refresh here and voila! This is my site now. It's completely identical to the theme demo. Basically, what you see on the live theme is what you can get by importing demo content. You can see that if I open the theme demo again, let me just close this so it's easier to track. So, if we look, this is our site and this is the live theme. They have all the same elements in the same arrangements and the same layout. Now, it can happen that the theme style doesn't display immediately. So, like your font is a different weight or a different family. What you want to do then is navigate to your dashboard and go to Select Options. This will open the general theme options. And here you just need to click on Save Changes. It's just a little hack that can make any changes that didn't appear immediately push through now. After that, just go to your site to recheck that everything is ok. Ah, sorry, this is the demo. So, go to your site, refresh the page. And then compare it to the demo page. Take a look at the styles and fonts and things like that to see if everything matches up now. So, again, if you spot any style differences when you import a demo, just go to Select Options and click on the Save Changes button in the General section. 
Now, we have several pages that I imported here with the demo. And in some cases, you might want to set a different page to be your home page. So let's see how that can be done. We need to navigate to settings and then reading. Then over here where it says your home page displays, you need to make sure you have the static page option selected. That way you can use this drop down below it to choose any one of the imported pages to be your home page or any page you make yourself. Just find its name in the list and select it. All right. While we're here in settings, there's one more thing we should do. Go to settings permalinks. Under common settings, choose post name and go to save changes. We recommend choosing post name because of our custom post types. If you import the demo content and you try viewing your pages but get errors 404, then you should navigate to settings permalinks. Choose post name and click on save. That should fix the 404 errors you've been getting when trying to view your pages. So hopefully your demo has now been imported and you are ready to start customizing your site. However, if for some reason the demo import didn't go as it should or wasn't fully successful, you can try importing the demo with the XML import method. So in the following section, we're going to talk about XML import. So before you start with the XML import, we recommend deleting any menus that were previously imported. The reason we should be doing this is that we'll be importing all demo data using the XML import. And any previous import attempts very likely left behind some menus. So to avoid having duplicate menu items, we should delete any previously imported menus. To do that, we need to navigate to Appearance, Menus. And here we can see that I actually don't have any leftover menus. If I did, one of my site menus would automatically be open and I'd have a delete link for it. Right now, all I have is a notice saying create your first menu below. If this is the case for you as well, great, less work for you. But if you do find the menu here, scroll down to the bottom of it and click on the delete menu link at the end. You'll get a pop-up asking you to confirm your choice. Just say OK and proceed to delete any other previously imported menus you have in here. Please note, if you have a menu you made yourself, that one can stay. It's only the demo content we don't want to double up. When you're done, we can go to Stockholm Dashboard Import and click on your chosen demo. Just like with the one-click demo import method, you'll want to install and activate the required plugins. So let's go ahead and follow the activation links. If you see install instead of activate, that's okay. It means you haven't previously installed these plugins like I did. So just click through that and you'll be ready to proceed. Once you've activated all the required plugins, close this pop-up. Then navigate to plugins. I'm showing you this in case you want to free up some server resources before running the import. Depending on which demo you chose, the view here might differ. But for all of them, you can use the plugin section and deactivate some of your plugins to save on server resources. Also, if your theme is using WooCommerce, we suggest you leave it activated because some things might not get imported without it. Oh, and I don't have them now, but in case your demo requires layer slider or slider evolution, you can deactivate them too. With XML import, sliders do not get imported, so you will have to import them manually after finishing with the XML. If you need any help with that, we prepared two separate tutorials. One for layer slider, one for slider evolution. I'll leave you a link to the Stockholm playlist in the description below. You'll find both tutorials there. So, any plugin you choose to deactivate now can be activated later when you've completed the XML import. Again, this is something you can do to save server resources, it's not a must. You can carry on without deactivating any of your plugins. So when you're ready, navigate to Theme Forest. I'm already logged in, so I can go straight to my Downloads page. And here, next to Stockholm, I'm going to click on Download and then All Files and Documentation. Wait until the download is finished and then navigate to where you save the zip file with the theme's files and documentation. Inside the zip file, you'll see several files and folders. The one we need is XML export, so let's click on it. Next, I'm going to click on Demos, and then I'm going to click on the index.html file. 
the index file contains a list of all the Stockholm XML demo files. You can look for the demo you chose by using the search. Press Ctrl+F F on your keyboard and type in the name of your demo. The search result will be highlighted and you can navigate to it using the arrows. So here is Anders, the demo I picked. You can click on the launch link to preview your demo and to make sure that this is the one you want to import. Then you need to click on the download link. This will download an XML version of your chosen demo to your computer. When the download is complete, open the zip file you got and inside it you'll see an XML file. We need to extract this file. You can do that by dragging it out or by using the extract button. When you have that file ready, you can proceed with the import process. To do that, we need to go back to our WordPress dashboard and then navigate to Tools, Import. Here, under WordPress, click on the Install Now link. Then click on Run Importer. This will take us to a new window, where we can choose the file we want to import. And I'm going to choose the XML file I just extracted. After that, we can click on Upload File and Import. Here you will want to assign your posts to authors. So I'll just set Admin and Admin again. Then below that, you need to check this box that says Download and Import File Attachments. Then click on Submit. The process will be quick, so when you see the message all done, have fun at the bottom, the import is done. If the import doesn't fully complete, you might get a 404 error or you might get a message saying that the file is too large to upload. If you get either of those messages, you should keep trying to upload the same XML file time after time until you get the all done have fun message. Sometimes WordPress simply gets stubborn. So, if you're experiencing an error, just go to Tools, Import, find WordPress and click on the Run Importer link below it. Then choose your XML file, click on the Upload file and Import button. Basically, follow all the same steps again. Choose the authors, import attachments and submit. Then check if the message says all done, have fun. Stay persistent until WordPress tells you to have fun. The next step in the XML import process involves navigating to Stockholm Dashboard Import. Find your demo and click on it. We're going to use it to import the widgets and options. You don't need to import all or content because we just imported the content using the XML file. So I'm going to select widgets and go to import. OK. And once the import is done, refresh the page and find your demo again. Click on it and under import type select options. Then click on the import button. Yes, OK. And we can see that the progress bar has reached 100%, so the options have been imported successfully. After that, we can check our site's homepage. Hit refresh. And it seems like my homepage is displaying an archive of my posts. It's not a big deal, I just need to set my preferred homepage as the front page. To make this change, I need to navigate to settings and then reading. Here under your homepage displays, we can see that your latest posts is selected. We want to change that to a static page. When you select that, you get this drop down where you can pick which page you want for your front, i.e., home page. I want the one called Home Default and save changes. When that's done, we can check our site again. Refresh. And there it is. I now have the home page I want and my demo content is all here. But for the proper styles to take effect, you'll need to go to your dashboard and navigate to select options general. And in here, just click on save changes. You don't need to do anything else. So after that, let's check our site again. We can see that all the styles are here, the fonts, colors, everything. Now, if you notice your page is reporting a 404 error, you can fix this by navigating to Settings, Permalinks. Select Post Name and Save Changes. As we saw earlier in this video, this is a recommendation made because of custom post types. Alright, now let's go back to the page. Refresh. You might have spotted this earlier. 
My site is missing a menu. I should have my main navigation here. Part of the demo content we imported are the menus, but with XML import, those menus don't get assigned to their proper locations. To fix this, we need to go to Appearance Menus. And what we need to do now is select the menu we want. For me, that's going to be Top Menu. Click to select. Then scroll down and under Display Location, tick Top Navigation and Mobile Navigation. Then Save Menu. Now we can check the page. Refresh. And we can see that the menu is here now. But the menu items have gotten duplicated. This can happen if you try importing the demo multiple times and it's a common side effect of XML import. Fortunately, this is an easy thing to fix. All you need to do is delete the extra items. You can do it manually, one by one, or use a plugin. I'm going to use a plugin now as it will let me delete the extra menu items more quickly. The plugin I'll be using is Quick Remove Menu HP Themes. Simply search for it using its name. And this is it. I admit I installed it before filming just in case, so all I have to do now is activate it. Alright, now I'll just navigate to Appearance Menus. And if we look closely at the menu items, they now have these X marks next to them. Thanks to that, I don't have to open individual items to delete them. I just need to click on the single X here. All you need to do is pick out the duplicates. No need to rush, you don't want to accidentally delete both instances of the same menu item. Also, my menu only has one level. So, if you have a menu with multiple levels of items, make sure to get all the duplicate second and third level menu items. Then, when you've gone over the entire menu, save the changes. And head over to check your homepage. Refresh first. And there is the menu now. Looking good and no duplicates anymore. Now that we sorted everything out, we can do one final check of our page. We can do that by reviewing the theme demo to see what everything is supposed to look like, and compare that with our own page that has the demo content imported. And if everything went as planned, you now have a site ready to customize and build on. However, if you ran into some difficulties, we'll be looking at an alternate import method in the next section. So, earlier in this video, I briefly mentioned saving server resources. Why is this relevant? Well, because there are minimum requirements necessary for the demo import to run smoothly. Now, in some cases, your hosting provider might not be able to meet the minimum requirements, or you might be running your site on a slower server. In that case, the demo import might not be successful. So, if you tried both the one-click demo import and the XML import methods, and the demo did not import, then there's one more thing you can try. You can try importing the demo without attachments. To do that, go to Stockholm Dashboard, Import. I'm going to locate and click on my demo. So, just like with the other methods, you want to install and activate the required plugins. Once you've done so, you can exit this window and navigate to the plugin section. This is where you should see which of the active plugins you can temporarily disable to save on server resources. Again, please do not deactivate Stockholm Core or WooCommerce. You need them for the import process to run properly. What you can deactivate is WP Bakery, Layer Slider, Revolution Slider, things like that. Of those, I only have WP Bakery, so I'm going to deactivate that plugin. All right. Now I only have Stockholm Core and WooCommerce as my active plugins. So once you have deactivated all the plugins except the necessary ones, you can go back to Stockholm Dashboard Import. Find your chosen demo and click on it to open. Then under Import Type, select All. And under Import Attachments, change the setting to No. Then click on Import. OK, I'm sure. Give it a moment to process. And now the progress bar has reached 100%, so the import completed successfully. As soon as that's done, we can get back to the plugin section to reactivate the plugins that we disabled to save on server resources. Make sure you reactivate all the plugins required by your demo, especially don't forget WP Bakery as we'll be needing it for building and customization work later. Next, go to Stockholm Dashboard. No, sorry, force of habit. Now you need to go to Select Options. 
and just click on Save Changes to save the imported changes. Now, let's open up a page. We'll do that by going to the Pages section. I'll use my home page to show you. Let me just find it. I have a lot of pages because the demo has a lot of content, so you can pick and choose from it. Ah, there it is. The reason I'm opening it like this is because I need the back end of the page to show you something. Also, when you do anything in the dashboard, which is kind of your site backend, it's a good idea to keep a front end version of the same page open. That way you can track any changes. So let's open my home page's front end via the link here. Now, the page looks just like before at first glance, but when we scroll down, we can see that the page layout has been imported, but the images are missing. That's because we chose not to import attachments in order to save up server resources. Why is the slider then showing an image, you ask? If the demo you're importing uses the select slider, like the one I'm using does, the images in your slider might be visible after import. This is because they are loaded from our server, so they won't have any negative impact on your server resources. And this is also the reason why these images won't be imported into your media library. If you'd like to replace the slider images with your own, just navigate to Select Slider and click on any one of the slides to open and edit it. I'll show you using the first one. The slide image is right there, and you have buttons to remove it or upload a new one. And if I click on Upload, you can see that my media library is completely empty. Even though we see the image, it's not here, which means it's not weighing down my site. Alright, let me close this. If your demo has a layer slider or slider evolution, you probably won't see any images at the top of your page and will have to either import the appropriate slider yourself or create a brand new one. If you opt to import the slider, we have separate tutorials that show how to import layer slider or slider evolution to Stockholm. You can find a link to them in the description below. And that brings this video to a wrap. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions, please drop us a line in the comment section below. And if you would like to be notified about future videos, you can subscribe to our channel. Thank you and until next time.